Hi everyone, so I am Laura from the channel Perks of Law and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I'm currently revising science using Jen's resources and her textbooks and flashcards and things like that. I'm going to be showing you this through the form of a study with me type video because I feel like that's the best way that you can see how I'm actually using it. I will do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing, what resources I'm using. In the description box, I'm sure Jen will link um, her website and where you can buy these resources. They are absolutely great, so I would thoroughly recommend you go over and buy them if you would like to. They are so, so helpful and great for GCSE Science. On my channel, Jen is going to be making a video on six mark questions and how to answer them within science. I'm sure she'll link that video down below, so once you finish watching this one, you can go over and check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to. If you've come from my channel and you're not already subscribed to Jen, please do. She is absolutely amazing. Literally a lifesaver for GCSE Science. My channel is a little bit of a mix. Um, I vary from revision videos to artsy edited videos to other videos like lifestyle and fashion. I do a bit of everything really. Um, so if you would like to be interested in that, then please make sure you head over to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. I will get on with the study with me so you can see how I'm currently revising science. So the first main way I revise is through using Jen's flashcards. I find her flashcards really helpful, but unfortunately these didn't print out right on my printer for some reason. But anyway, I decided to write them out on my own flashcards, which are from Wilco's. And I just wrote out the question and flipped the piece of paper over to find the answer. So these flashcards are available to buy on Jen's website. The link to it will be in the description box. So please head over there and have a look and see whether you'd find any of them useful. I know I find them really, really useful. I then just made a cover page for the flashcards. I find this really useful when I'm going to find certain types of flashcards. So this one was formulas of common ions and I just outlined it. I used a brush pen from WH Smith's and then clipped it together using the Repesco Super Clip. After this I went on to her predicted paper and clicked on the link so I could go to the using resources video that she had made. This is super useful to find the video, to understand it and so to do this I made another set of flashcards. I then just went through and highlighted the important keywords and key concepts just in the same colour that I did the title with and then I put them together with an elastic band as the super clip wouldn't fit around it because there was quite a few flashcards and also just a pre-warning the next few clips of this video are quite flashy so if that's something that affects you do bear that in mind. the exam paper that I found the previous video from and just completed it and did as much as I could. I was pretty surprised with myself because I did get 95% on this test. I never usually do that well in chemistry so I was pretty proud of myself. Um, but I just went through and answered all the questions. I won't bore you with the entire of the paper. <laughs>
I then went through the paper and marked it and then wrote in blue any corrections that I had. I didn't want to bore you with the entire time lapse of me doing this, but I did make flashcards from the questions, so I just went through and wrote the questions and summarised the answers on the back of the flashcards so that when I go back to revise, I've got the questions from this paper to revise from as well. Finally, for science, I do do mind maps. So this is one on the rate and extent of chemical change. And this was just a section in this book from Collins. It is a revision guide and workbook and it's really, really useful. I know this isn't Jen's resource, but I thought I would include it as it is one of the things that really helps with science along with Jen's videos. So I would definitely recommend getting that. I will have a video up on my channel on how I make my mind maps, so if you are interested, please make sure to go and subscribe so you don't miss that video. So this is the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and a comment down below to let me and Jen know that you did really enjoy this. And subscribe to both of us if you'd like to see more of our videos. I'm sure there's great content coming from Jen and I know I've got a lot planned for my channel. So yeah, we will both see you very soon with another video. Bye!